Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the new Iron Banner weapons that came out like a week ago. I didn't do a review on them because I was just so busy with like other things that I just time went away. But let's talk about Reese Walker and Archon's Thunder. This video is mostly going to be a love letter to Reese Walker and Archon's Thunder is going to have like a minute or two of just information and then that's it so let's just talk about archon thunder first because it's going to be super quick it's a machine gun it's in a high high impact frame family and here are the stats the stats are fine uh if i sound a little jaded i just don't care like i would have much preferred literally any other type weapon type than a machine gun especially for iron banner but let's look at the perks real quick it's going to be field prep mulligan range finder quick draw killing wind and surplus for the first row for the second row it's going to be rampage elemental capacitor thresh snapshot sights iron gaze and iron grip now obviously most people are going to want the field prep and rampage that's a really good role uh for pve obviously for pvp i like why would you use this like there's other things you could be using than an LMG. Sure, you can get more kills with an LMG, but this one specifically, I just don't know about it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I, I have no love for this weapon. Um, it might be due, due to the fact that I got a shitty roll on it. Doesn't matter. I just don't think an LMG is like what people would have liked, on, honestly. I, might, I may be in the minority on that, but an LMG is just like, why would you give us an LMG? I would have much preferred like a hand cannon, a pulse rifle, a scout rifle, literally anything else. I would have been like fire, fire, like a primary and a special would have been better. Hopefully next season we get better weapons than this because it, for me, it's just disappointing and we get new armor. All right. So let's talk about the real champ. Uh, well, I say champ. It's not that great. Reese Walker. So Reese Walker is a kinetic shotgun in the lightweight freight, lightweight frame family, basically makes you faster while the weapon is equipped it's one of my favorite uh frames in the game at least for pretty much every weapon i like lightweight frame weapons because they make me go fast but <sighs> it it kind of sucks so let's talk about the perks real quick and then we'll get to why i think this weapon's gonna not be used ever so first row is gonna be slideways hip fire grip quick draw surplus firmly planted eye of the storm for the second row, it's going to be Iron Reach, Killing Wind, Unrelenting, Vorpal Weapon, Demolitionist, and Swashbuckler. So, I love this weapon. I have been using this weapon so much. And, like, I don't... I think I have a really good Astral Horizon. Like, my Astral Horizon is, basically has Quick Draw on it, essentially, kind of. Because uh, it has Elemental Capacitor on it. And uh, that one where... You get bonus stuff when enemies are near you. I have those two. So, like, the handling on that is, like, ridiculously high. And, obviously, aggressive frames can't roll with quick quick draw anymore. So, that's, like, the best I've seen so far. I don't know why I would even switch to Reese Walker when I have that roll. Because Reese Walker is basically a lesser version of, of an aggressive. Obviously aggressives are just way better it's it's kind of like the situation we were in with hand cannons where 150s were just like dominating and like why would you use anything else other than you know a 150 it we were kind of in the same situation i feel like because the funny thing is like you can't even choose like which aggressives you want you essentially have two choices three if you run run the new raid yeah fell winter you have Astral, and then you have the new Raid Shotgun. I forget what it's called. But essentially, you have those three. And Astral is the only kinetic, aggressive shotgun. So you have no choice in that aspect. But on the secondary slot, you do have a few choices. Literally just two. So I look at Reese Walker, and I love it. I love the lore behind it. I love the model. I think the model looks really cool. Uh, the perks on it are pretty cool. Like, I would literally, like, I have Slideways and Unrelenting. If I could have chosen the last perk, I probably would have gotten Slideways and Killing Wind, Slideways and Iron Reach. Like, I don't see why you would go for a quick draw when the handling's already so high. So, for me, Slideways and Killing Wind would probably would have been the roll. Iron Reach, also a really good roll. Um, that's really it. Like, maybe Firmly Planted, since you're sliding a lot, you could probably bump that. 
but for me slideways you get that initial bump in ammo which i really need uh assault mag definitely would have been there for like the one as one i would love to get so my my issue with this is the fact that aggressives are just so ridiculously powerful that like reese walker will never get the chance to shine as it should because the problem is you'll be you'll see a lot of this you'll see a lot of trades or you'll see a, like most of the time you will not trade most of the time your weapon will just fail you and it just it, it is what it is you're fighting against astral you're fighting against phil when fell winter's uh lie you're fighting against found verdict all aggressive frames and they all have really good stats and really good uh really good perk pools specifically found verdict found verdict has a lot like it can basically have what uh fell winters has so reese walker is just unfortunately like not gonna be used and it kind of kills me because i have played a lot with this i've used it in iron banner and i've gotten a lot like i've gotten really high scores with it but i will not lie to you guys and tell you oh yeah it's way better than a than a fucking aggressive because a you would not believe me rightfully so and b like i'm gonna tell you to I, well i will always try to be straight with you guys like this weapon is not like it slaps for me but it will not slap for everyone else like the reason i like it is because it's very quick it doesn't feel heavy and that's what i love about it but you're also sacrificing kills that you would regularly get with like aggressive frame shotguns which is like a, like for for a lot of people that's just a no and i understand it because i've been in battles where i'm like if this was an aggressive that would have gotten the kill and at this point i don't know like it's it we're definitely back in that 150 versus literally everything else phase in destiny where why would you use any other hand cannon when 150s exist it's the same thing with shotguns aggressives are just that much better like sure reese walker makes you faster but we already have like exotics that do that for us sure you could you could give me the argument like oh well you know it frees up a slot for you to use some anything else which is fair because when i use reese walker i use literally anything else but stompies because i'm already getting i'm already going fast i don't care about the jump height really so it's more for the speed but when i take that weapon out or when i take another weapon out and it's not a lightweight i lose the speed like it just i appreciate the speed but you're sacrificing kills that you would regularly get with an aggressive and i know I, I'm, I know i'm talking a lot about this shotgun it's just it really makes me sad because i really love this shotgun uh throughout this whole time i probably have been showing you guys snippets of like me with this shotgun and I, believe you me i've had the time of my life with this shotgun i've had moments where i was like dude this is fucking gross and then other times where this gun feels fucking dog shit and that's where i'm at with the shotgun i love it but i also understand that it's just not gonna perform as well as an aggressive and i shouldn't be expecting that but i also should not be expecting this like the fact that i was that close to that enemy and it still did not get that one hit kill not only that it took him to barely half health for me i was just like dog like what the fuck i was dick close to this dude not all right not dick close but i was super close to this dude like that should have gotten you're you're sacrificing consistency for speed and a snappier shotgun i, I guess you could say so if you're gonna use reese walker just know that you're gonna be shooting and meleeing a lot like a fucking like more than any other shotgun really because reese walker needs needs to clean up it needs the help uh you'll be more surprised when you get the one hit kills especially from far than anything else and that's kind of like the burden that it has the fact that it can't clean up well the fact that you're gonna be fighting aggressives and you're most likely gonna be losing and the best case scenario you'll be trading rarely will you be actually winning a gunfight against aggressives with this shotgun and 
I, I get it, but at the same time, it, it just angers me because I'm, I'm not asking for Reese Walker to be an aggressive. I, that's not the point of this video because I think the shock and where it's at, it's really good. I, I just personally feel like aggressives are just a little too powerful. Um, and it's funny cause like you can, you can nerf the, the quick draw roll or whatever, but at the end of the day, you're just making people not get off the shotgun. And that's what I'm seeing. More people are just holding on to the shotgun way more. So it, it's just unfortunate. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really love this shotgun. It's one of my favorite shotguns. If anything, I might go for a PVE roll, like uh, maybe assault mag and slideways and vorpal weapon. That would be pretty interesting. Although if it had one, two punch that if it had one, two punch and grave robber, I would immediately try to farm this to get a God roll PVE roll. But the fact that it doesn't and it had like Vorpal is fine. I just feel like it's not that great for me. Like in my head, I'm like, ah, it's, ah, it's not that great, but it does have six rounds in the magazine. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. This one makes me really sad to, to review because I really like this weapon a lot, but it's not going to get enough play. It's not going to. This is the funny thing is like these. We finally get two new weapons in Destiny 2 and one's an LMG, which is like, what the fuck ever? And the other one's like a shotgun that's not even an aggressive. Not saying I want it to be an aggressive. It's just that it's fighting so many hills that you just kind of give up and just have to use an aggressive especially since the the new raid came out found verdict is like it has so many good rolls on it man like it's it just makes me sad uh but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you for coming up to this point what do you guys think about the new iron banner weapons let me know in the comments below other than that i will see you guys later